Thank you so much to Osea Malibu for sponsoring this video. Osea is a climate neutral certified vegan and cruelty free skin and body care company made in California and founded in 1996. I have so many favorite products that I'm constantly telling my friends and family about from Osea, but today let's talk about their best selling Andaria Algae Body Oil. This seaweed infused body oil absorbs quickly into the skin and is deeply hydrating the perfect anecdote for dry winter skin, in my opinion. Like all of Osea's skincare, this oil is seaweed infused, which I think is so interesting. That means the Andaria is soaked in barrels of oils for up to six months to create this beautifully moisturizing and antioxidant rich body oil. If you'd like to try Osea's Andaria Algae Body Oil for yourself, or maybe something else from their line, I love their Hyaluronic Sea Serum. It's another one of my favorites. You can follow the link in my description below to shop and use code ALLY10 for 10% off your purchase. Nick and I have lived in this little house for over a year now, and I honestly can't believe it. Time really flies. Anyway, it was a little bit tricky at first to make this place feel cozy and functional, thanks in part to this big open living area. We gave away our red sectional a while back and adopted this couch from Nick's parents, and it works perfectly for us right now. I also, in a controversial move, sold my vintage metal filing cabinet. And since then, I've been trying to find homes for all of these little things that we use. So here we are, this is the solution I found. I moved our vintage dresser from the office to the back of the couch and I love, love, love it. So much of our life happens in this little area of our home, so it's nice to have all the little random things that we use daily within arm's reach. I usually do my computer work from my standing desk, otherwise known as the kitchen counter, so office supplies need to be close for me. I'm using a few little organizers to corral smaller things like pens, pencils, markers, paper clips, file clips, exacto blades, you name it. Up next, we have paper. I love paper, especially vintage wrapping paper and maps. I find most of the stuff at estate sales, but this is the only place in the house that I keep it, so that means I have to use it up before bringing more in. If you're interested in being more minimalistic but still having creative hobbies, give this method a try. Just set up a designated area for your supplies and tell yourself that that container is what you can have only. Next to the paper, we have some more art supplies because I just happened to thrift this container that fits the store perfectly, so it was meant to be. Most of the stuff is older, but I still use it enough to keep it around. These larger white containers are from Ikea, actually, and they help me keep my ribbon addiction in check. I used to be really into making flower crowns in like 2009, and I still have supplies from that time, like this floral wire and floral tape. I've used this floral tape and wire to make my own wedding bouquet, bouquets for my bridesmaids, my friend's wedding bouquet, and I also use it in the garden too. I'm not huge about keeping like back stock for what if moments, but I do like to be that friend who can like whip up a floral arrangement if needed, so here we are, I'm keeping all this stuff. It has a home in my art drawer. I'm slowly getting into sewing, so I have a small collection of items for that hobby. One of my favorite pieces is this little vintage Great Western Savings and Loans Association um, needle kit that I got in an estate sale. It's actually so handy to have them all in a little fold like this. Next, we have some felting supplies from Etsy, a small collection of fabric, my hot glue gun, which isn't technically a sustainable option, but it's not something that I'm willing to part with at this time. I got this bag of gorgeous trim ribbon at an estate sale, and I haven't organized it into my ribbon boxes yet, so that's a project for another day, but we'll keep it in here for now. I used a bunch of these little jars and boxes this year to um, gift tea and essential oil mixtures and stuff like that so I'm gonna pack these in with my Christmas stuff so that I can easily find them next year when I need them so I'm gonna turn this one into my drawer I often have products kind of like laying around the house from brands that I'm working with so it'll be nice to have a little holding area for them until I can put them away with the rest of my stuff I've been leaning heavily on digital organizing for tasks, but I still, you know, use a notebook. I have my external hard drive and things like that. So um, my computer charger, all of those things will be corralled into this drawer. 
switching gears a bit, we are steps from our dining table. So this is actually where I keep our cloth napkins. I don't know if that's weird, whatever, it works for us. These little ones are the kind that we use the most. And then I also have just like some disposable utensils in here that we've picked up from here or there. And I feel like this is a good place to keep them. This drawer is kind of random. These are just some little decorative containers that I have that I'm not using right now that I don't want to get rid of. We actually used all three of these um, for wedding centerpieces for our wedding. And this little shell is broken and I need to figure out how it's like really heavy too. So I can't just hot glue gun it, which is what I might have done in the past. I need to figure out how to fix that. So until I can figure that out, they're just living in this little drawer and that's perfectly fine with me. Next drawer I'm actually really excited about, it's our little shipping drawer. So I do mail a lot of packages and it's so nice. It's gonna be so nice to have all of my packing and shipping stuff in this little drawer. So obviously boxes aren't gonna fit in here, but things like our digital scale, our paper tape, and some different rags that I can use to wet the adhesive on the paper tape are gonna be so great to just have all in one place. I don't show it in this clip, but I also ended up adding, you know, like a pen and my measuring tape so that when I'm, I use um, Pirate Ship, the website Pirate Ship, not sponsored, but it's free and I love them. You get discounted shipping rates on things, but you have to measure the box, obviously, when you're, you know, um, inputting everything in there. So it'll be so nice to just have everything in one little drawer so that I can be very efficient and you know, not give myself a headache when I'm packing a box to ship. This is our technology drawer. We have a projector and here I'm showing you that we also have a projector screen that we use, which is very fancy. And it's so nice, again, kind of like the shipping little thing to just have everything you need in one area so that when you wanna do something like watch the office, you know, everything is there and it's just easy. So again, I'm kind of using these random, this is like a box lid that I'm using to kind of corral some of these cords. We have a little card game in here, some headphones, our Bluetooth speaker, and some external chargers. I think those are from the brand Nimble. I really, really like those. And I feel like whenever I need an external charger, I'm like running out the door and can never find one or they're always dead. So now they have a place that they live in the technology drawer, nice and organized. This next drawer is kind of random. That brand Nimble also, when you buy um, product from them, they send you a bag in which you can recycle old technology products. And so I have a couple bags inside this one bag. And again, it's like one of those things that I never really know what to do with. Um, and then when I need it, I can never find it. So I'm putting it in this drawer. It's where it lives now. And then this is me sort of awkwardly struggling to put our little file box that I got at an estate sale in Cambria in that drawer because it's kind of just always on the floor and it's nice to put it in a drawer instead. And then in this last drawer, I just have some of my favorite little special vintage items that I use around the house, but you know, a lot of times I'm not using them around the house and when I'm not using them, they need to live somewhere. So as I was kind of going through what was in this drawer, I decluttered that little metal um, plate. I ended up giving that to a friend, but these other ones are really special. A lot of these are from my grandma, that little wooden bowl was our plate from our wedding this cookie cutter was my mom's that little white thing was from our wedding too and then this is just one of my favorite thrifted mugs so as you can see here i'm just kind of using these random little soft-sided baskets to kind of protect these delicate items in this drawer this may not be like the most ideal way to store these, but I don't have room for them in our little tiny galley kitchen or really anywhere else. So this works for me and it's a way for me to easily see everything that I have. And that's it, a little bit of an offbeat way to organize our stuff in our dresser, serving as a behind the couch buffet, but it works for us and eliminates those annoying little piles that used to accumulate all over the house. Finding little ways to organize our stuff doesn't have to be expensive or time consuming. Oftentimes it can actually help us reduce waste and spend less because we know where our things are when we need them. So I hope this video is a reminder of that. What are you gonna organize today?